Hey, yo, welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. As you can tell by the title, you know that I have a lot of time on my hands in between me working um, from home. <clears throat> but this was a thought that had come to me. Uh, the healthy mind doesn't wake up thinking that this is the last day on earth. Over the years, I've uh, heard about individuals who um, didn't make it to the next day. I mean, have you ever thought about that situation? Uh, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to hit the like button. I mean that. Make sure to share and follow. Again, the healthy mind doesn't wake up thinking that this is the last day on earth. <clears throat> you go through life doing things and not really uh, grasping the concept of uh, death. Although we can't really understand, you know, uh, about death and what happens on the, on the other side and things of that nature. There are a lot of individuals who try to tap into that, but we don't know. But the thing of it is, we live our life. And none of us, uh, you know, go to sleep thinking that, man, this might be my last day on earth. I might not wake up on things of the nature. But sometimes this, is, this, this happens. And I've listened, uh, I check out the news from time to time and listen to uh, incidents in which people actually did not wake up the next morning or uh, it may be, you know, natural causes. We don't really know. Or it may be a situation where they go out, hang out, and um, uh, a, a fight or something like that ensues and they end up getting killed. Uh, this is in conjunction to something that occurred and, and which made me uh, think about it more so uh, a couple of days ago um, There was an incident that occurred a mass shooting at an L LGBTQ uh, club where four individuals were uh, Were killed now These individuals going about their day, you know plan making their plans go going to a club go to, to go to a club and not even thinking about man this is uh, this may be our last day, so let's party like, you know, like no ever. But, you know, how many of us actually do say that? Like, man, I'm about to go out and I'm party because I might not make it. You know, they have individual youngsters. I hear them say that a lot. But, you know, you know people like us, we don't really think about, about that, you know, and, 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 and try to make the best of it, which you should. But my thing of it is, you don't know when your time comes. So... Getting back to this, these individuals going to a club partying and not knowing that something like this does happen. And it also brings me to the mind of other individuals, and there may be some that you probably can think of who have, uh, who, who's met their demise unexpectedly. Now, what I do understand is sometimes that you can increase your chances of, 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 uh, of uh, death by doing certain things, involving yourself in certain situations. But people who I'm going to mention um, you know, these individuals, you, you know, they died unexpectedly. We, you know, uh, can, you know, go back and say, well, you know, this was, you know, I mean, this, I couldn't believe this happened. <clears throat> and, you know, you kind of, you know, it kind of scares you. At least it, it scares me a little bit and kind of keeps me on point to make sure to, you know, to, to do the right thing because you never know, um, you know, if today would be your last like people like uh take off who, who whoever thought that you know he was gonna go to texas and was never gonna ever return back to atlanta uh i was just watching a, a a show about a rapper out of new orleans by the name of magnolia shorty getting up getting ready to go to a, uh, a, a show in miami she's um ambushed and killed uh biggie I mean, I, I checked out a documentary where he was partying after the Soul Train uh, Awards, having fun and, uh, you know, just enjoying himself and himself and, and a couple of uh, minutes or hours later, he was killed. Who ever thought that he was going to go to, and I understand the situation that occurred with, with uh, Tupac and East Coast, West Coast, but I'm speaking more so of him because I didn't, I didn't never hear of any uh, accidents or any incidents that he's gotten into, which may have caused him to meet his demise early, but... Uh, people like that. There was a mass shooting in uh, Texas with the where these young kids were killed a couple of uh, years ago. Who would have thought that, you know, and that's kind of scary. Who would have thought that these individuals, you putting their, their, your child's clothes on and wishing them uh, uh, they have a, ba a nice day and giving them, giving them a hug and um, not knowing or thinking that this would be the last time that you would actually see these individuals. Uh, Aaliyah, you know, people like her, left eye. Um, there was recently a retired cop that was just uh, doing his job. 
that was killed a couple of days ago here in Baton Rouge. Never thought it. You go to work, you, you know, you, you do your job in a routine, routine fashion, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, a, a crazed individual come out of nowhere and uh, kills you. Uh, another individual who is very popular in Baton Rouge, but he played football for LSU, a man by the name of Ruffin Rod Rodrigue. He uh, died in his sleep, heart attack. Um, another guy that comes to mind was Brandon Lee. Um, I think he he was killed by a, a, a bullet. Um, I, I, they were uh, doing some filming and not knowing that the, someone may have uh, uh, replaced uh, one of these uh, fake bullets for something, a uh, real bullet, and he ended up being killed. He was a, a, a martial art artist. And uh, lastly, Martin Luther King, he comes to mind in the sense that, you know, doing uh, his due diligence, fighting for rights, uh, civil rights, getting up one morning, you know, not, you know, everything being routine, and not knowing that, you know, hey, I'm going to be killed. I mean, you don't really think about that, you know. And it's a scary situation. That's why it is best. And I speak on this uh, so often to, uh, you know, I don't know how much it means to that other person, but, to, you know, to share your love, tell your person that you do love them. Because I'm telling you, you can be here today, gone tomorrow. I mean, and it's a scary situation. And as I mentioned now, there are things that you, you do to, to um, speed up your demise. But when you're just going along, just doing everyday thing, and all of a sudden things like this happen, it, 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 it really caused you to start thinking and uh, I don't want to get too deep into every, you know, to what I'm about to go to as, as, as opposed to me wondering why, but it just caused you to start thinking like why this happened, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and it just, you know, caused you to, to look at life in a different situation when you hear about people who who you, you're you with on, on, on one day and the next day they're not here at all. So just wanted to throw that out there for a food for thought. Um, this is Anthony with Third Eye Visions. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for uh, uh, following. And uh, I'm out.